Okay, so I'm on my way to Snowdonia to do some filming on the River D. Uh, there's going to be a reasonable amount of time to get everything done that I need to get done, and that's always a bonus because if you're up against it, you're on the back foot the whole time. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be four days, two travelling days, and uh, two filming days. And I'm hoping on the travelling days to also be able to build in a few stop-offs at places that I want to do some filming at. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, I just stopped for a break on Burlip Hill. And this has got to be one of the best days I think I've ever seen from this point. It's it's just such an amazing view here because you've got the cliffs directly on the other side of the valley that runs down from Birdlip Hill down to the M5. And then the whole of the flatlands leading across, you can see Gloucester, um, all the way right across the Mulvans. It's just fantastic. It's almost one of those perfect clear days. Well, I made it up to Flangotham. I stopped along the way because I wanted to get a shot of this lump, is the only thing I can call it, that I keep seeing every time I drive along the A5. And I always think I must stop and have a look and find out what that is. So this time on this trip, I'm definitely going to stop on the way back. I'm going to route my path that way and uh, find out what it is. Hopefully film it a little bit. We'll see. Yeah. A bit difficult to talk about it when you can't see what I'm talking about because I wasn't able to get a shot of it, so... Morning! I actually had quite a good night's sleep last night. Um, so I, I've just kind of moved on a bit and found a nice place to stop, a really good big lay-by to stop and cook up some breakfast. Uh, made a complete, complete toss-up of the eggs. Um, I have this thing where I need to break eggs with a knife. Everybody around me goes, you're mad, you're stupid. Um, crack them on the side of a pan, whatever. I just, I just have to break them with a knife. Sometimes the knife goes in too cleanly and then I just create a total mess. In fact, I had to abort the first egg because I dropped half of it all over the van. So I was like an egg novice, a total egg novice. Basically, I've got to, I'm up here to shoot um, a place called Trevor Rocks. And Trevor Rocks is quite a historic place in the annals of canoeing because it was the site of the first ever canoe slalom competition in Britain. Um, or at least the first, I'm going to cover myself, the first ever officially organised canoe slalom competition in Britain. Okay. I'm getting in my last shot of the day really, which is a tight shot on the, well hopefully, boats going across the unpronounceable aqueduct. It's mem mesmerising, you know, you just keep wanting to film it. I've, I've actually filmed it at a different time to this, sort of later in the year when it was quite broody and I shot with a fisheye lens and it was really nice. I could do with just one more boat to go across, that would be really nice.
partial success. Let's ignore the other one, that one looks pretty good to me. I'm speaking to you today through the wonders of modern technology. One of the problems of using a DSLR to shoot uh, bits of chat really is it hasn't got a flip round screen. Well this one hasn't anyway so I have to use a monitor screen and I haven't really got time today because I've got to get going. I've got a lot to do, uh, a lot of driving to do so I'm improvising. The only thing is though that now you know what I look like when I look in the mirror so you know what I look like to myself. Um, probably a bit of a mess this morning to be honest. I had a slightly disturbed, not a slightly disturbed night but I was awoken rather early about 4.30 by a sound that was rather startling and had me up and fully dressed in seconds and the sound was this. I later heard what I presume to be a bird cracking a snail on a litter bin and maybe that was it. Maybe it was a twig falling on the roof. I don't know because I was asleep. Paranoia in the morning. But I've had my eggs and had a bit more luck than last time. I think I'm using the wrong knife. I think it's the weight of the knife. I don't think it's anything to do with my technique at all. I think it's the weight of the knife. My camping knife is too light. It's got a serrated edge. Yeah, but the sun's out and it should be a good day. Fingers crossed. Well, I'm pleased to say I've found my lump. It's quite early in the morning and that noise you're hearing in the background is a bloody great truck. Two bloody great trucks. Um, and that's because <laughs> quite a sizable portion of this lump is a quarry. Two at once, love it. It's just such a strange thing visually to see what looks like a sort of a perfect hill and a hill that mankind has at some point stuck a big pin on top to go, yes, this is our hill, this is Rodney's pillar. Um, and then somebody's just taking a bit, it's a bit Monty Python, you know, somebody's like taking a big chunk out of it. Visually, that's, it's just a, a strange sight. I do feel though, I probably need to show it to you from a different angle without the bite, because the bite does dominate from this side. Right, I'm just going to go for this because uh, I've got a bit of an audience and rather a lot of flies. Um, I've come around the other side and the hill takes on a completely different shape, uh, completely different presence in the landscape. It's now kind of pointy like a proper little mountain. Um, there's a cow just to my right um, that appears to have a breathing hole in its chest. 
it's a sort of a hybrid with a whale or something, I don't know. It's, I'm sure all the farmers out there will be able to tell me that's a procedure because stuff seems to be coming out of it. Um, never seen that before. I'm also just looking in the distance and there's what looks like a pretty impressive rocky outcrop on the other side of the valley which I'm going to have to come back again some other time and explore. So having discovered my lump that I've seen and fascinated over for ages and ages, now I'm here at my lump, I'm now looking at another lump that is fascinating and I'm going to have to go and explore that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So then to summarise, uh, this Rodney's Pillar, I've deduced through my own logic and mild stupidity that the pillar is the stick on top and it's got a quarry attached. I think if I'm honest, I probably need to move on with this lump. You know, I've seen it enough, wondered what it was, now I've come here, I've seen what it is. Uh, it's very nice, but I think I need to get over it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.